Uh, low, 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 low. Uh, I'm here to finish Alan Wake's second DLC. Darkness. That's it. That's that's all I got to say. Now that I knew what I was facing, the environment became even wilder and stranger. Like it was no longer even bothering to pretend that things were normal. I was thinking about finishes last night, but or yesterday after eating. But I ended up uh I ended up, uh, I was watching Game of Thrones with my parents, so then I just didn't end up. We... <laughs> oh, I, I wasn't even supposed to come over here. Where I was, but okay, not so far left. Got it. it off the darkness. Oh lord. <laughs> Wait, no, I'm not supposed to go over there. I'm supposed to go over here. Uh, I'm gonna play two games at the same time when I start doing Alan Wake 2. I'm gonna start playing Demon Wake Cry 5. This is a game that I've wanted to play. Uh, or that I've always been interested in. And I know it's been on PlayStation Plus, but I think they're... No, nah, I don't think. It's... It's... They're taking it off PlayStation Plus. Like it's a guarantee. How are you hitting me on a combo from that far? Uh, fuck you. Uh, Don't Make Cry 5 has always been a game that I've been interested in. Mostly because of that one uh, part in the video where they are quite, or Dante, if I'm not wrong on that name, is quite literally dancing like Michael Jackson. You can have this many flares? Again, with the same problem, I can't see shit. All right, there you go. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, now what? We're at the apartment, that's what. 
We're at the photo shoot. Oh, am I fucked? I don't know what type of pills these are. Probably some type of pill that he's drinking. What in the actual fuck am I supposed to do here? What? What is going on? I can't. Okay. Oh, Lord. Maybe this will be something I'm doing here. What is going on? Yeah, I was like, wait, am I supposed to be here? Is that to wait? Elevator? Sure. <laughs> Next stop, Sanity. You're doing well. Keep going. It's hard to make sense of this place. It's a dream. This is a vast place. Home to forces and beings that are completely alien. Mm. The dark presence. Yes. I don't know what happened to it after your final encounter. Is there any way out of here? Sometimes transmissions can be sent between worlds. You've done this yourself. But to actually leave the dark place, I haven't found a way. Ding, you took a little elevator ride. Obviously, I wasn't the one in the driver's Another memory made real. Wake would never make it. The insanity he was facing was already a part of it. In him. His own doing. He couldn't possibly win. He didn't even want to. I want to. Stop making assumptions, alright, buddy? Elevator. 
At least the lighthouse was much closer now. A lot of boom. Great. Way up there somehow. What the f- I mean, I guess he broke his ankle, and if he broke his ankle, he can't go any further along. Uh, I actually slept, uh, early. Last night, and then I still slept a long time. Which wouldn't be an issue, because it's like, oh, you're getting some sleep back. But then the issue is that I might just stay up late again. I'm going to do my best to avoid. And I'm going to try and sleep early again. By early, I mean 2 a.m. Which isn't that early, but... Should be some shotgun shells here. <laughs> Got myself a little bridge. Yesterday I did about 20 minutes of the DLC, so I should have like fifth, around 50 minutes left, maybe. The part of you that is in control is in the cabin, dreaming and insane. Alright, let's go save him. You represent the part of our wake that is capable of rational thought and planning, which is why I'm talking to you. If that part can regain control, then you have a chance of making it. But a part of you wants to give in. There's comfort in the oblivion of dreams. You represent the part that isn't ready to quit and die. Wait, are you telling me I'm not real? You're as real as anything else in this place. So there are two of me? Yes. And the one you called Mr. Scratch, he's me as well? No. Zane, are you playing some kind of game with me? I am not the author of your story. Yeah, you're the one that's Zane, writing all this. It wasn't one of my pages. You directed me to it. You had Weaver guard it. Yes, she was needed. And you needed the click. But I, I'm not. What? I don't understand. Ellen, you should keep going. Zane? Zane, come on! So he well, said he... I cleared things up. So he's not the one who wrote that. Interesting. Huh. The bridge roads in the 
unnatural way. It was heralding the enemy's arrival. Wait, what leave this place alive? I can reach it, yes! <laughs> A moment. I can help you here. I'm so far from the lighthouse. How the hell are you doing that? Great. It's like learning to control your dreams. There's a connection. You were in my dream. Yes. I taught you. You fixed the foolish mistake I made with Barbara. Huh. Oh. I'm very intrigued as to what can happen in Alan Wake 2. Is Alan just going to recover his consciousness and he's just going to be part of the dark presence or in it, but he's like trying to escape because the FBI agent gets involved. How does she get involved? Because the last one died or because his wife is looking for him. And if so, it's probably going to be the same town, no? Fuck all of that, I'm just gonna... Yep. How the fuck... Go ahead and despawn for me. At this point it doesn't matter if I turn on the flash. Oh, don't fall! <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, I, I got... Oh, I saw... I saw a real... Oh. Oh, would you look at that? Even with the light gone, all I could do was keep going. Yeah, I mean, yeah, there's, there's, there's nothing else really. I saw a reel, an Instagram reel. Uh, it was showing a light with apparently the the highest amount of lumen. Which I guess it's just the highest amount of light that it can produce. A flashlight, and then immediately the comment said, "Oh, the thing that Alan Wake needs." And then I'll, so I think Alan Wake 2 actually helped bring the game a bit, because the comment had a lot of likes. So I think the second game coming out actually helped this game become a lot more famous, because even Since we're being so frank here, Alan, and let me just reiterate, the release of this game, of the second game, is making me play this one. I would like to summarize your condition. By all means. And please, just let me know if I'm being unfair. All right. Well, let's start with the obvious, the car crash. 
untreated head trauma. All due respect to Doc Nelson, but he's hardly a neurosurgeon. I think that the injury has affected you more than you realize. Yeah, I, I have had bad headaches. Then there's your history of substance abuse, which, combined with your chronic insomnia, has resulted in hallucinations and extremely poor... What does chronic insomnia mean? That you can never fix it? Combination, one which your wife or is it that it's just really bad? Far more than you. I know. Whatever chronic insomnia is, I don't know. I don't want that shit. <laughs> I haven't drank any water today. Oh, let me go get some in a sec. Responsibility for your own actions. It allows you to solve your imaginary problems and dismiss the things that truly trouble you. In your self serving delusions, your personal problems are assets that allow you to save Alice, perhaps even the world. Dr. Harmon, I, I think that's spot on. <laughs> I can't argue with any of that. Well, I'm sure I'm stating the obvious. I don't want to labor the point, but, well, um. No, no, I understand. It's important that I face it. Precisely, Alan. You put so much effort and imagination into this self-deception, but what good has it really done for you? So the part that's giving up is thinking that this is what's right, maybe? That, yeah, like, am I really fighting? Did I really just do all that? Obviously not. Was this really the best thing for your wife? Probably not. Probably not. Why don't we find out? You know, I've been talking with her. There's something she wanted you to hear. Oh, hey. That sounds like fun. All I ever wanted was to help you, Alan. I ate all the shit you handed out and tried to understand your pathetic, wealthy white male drama. Until my life consisted of managing your never-ending crisis. I hate you for your childish temper and the arrogance self-indulgent pride that undermine all efforts to drag you out of the hole you insisted on digging for yourself. I hate you for leaving me in the dark with that insane monster bitch. All you had to do was act like a loving human being for once in your life and stay with me. If your dramatic exit hadn't been more important than making sure I was all right, she would never have taken me. I don't know where you went, but that's okay. I don't want to know. I don't think I'll ever be all right. The only thing that keeps me from killing myself is the hope that I'll never see you again. That's crazy. The only thing... I... I just can't argue with that. I think I should stay here before I ruin what life she has Yeah? Lived. Nah, fuck all of that. This is a breakthrough, Alan. <laughs> I'm proud of you. You should just accept all of that she just said. Yeah, I don't know about all that. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, hello. <laughs> it was nonsense. I knew I had saved her. I'd succeeded in that, and that was all that mattered. When Indeed. There wasn't the truth. Heartbreaker. You heard what Alice, just in quotes, quotes had to say. It cut deep, but that made me all the more determined to force myself to snap out of it. I didn't want to be that guy anymore. I had to make myself see the light. I'd love to get the, to open the curtain more and blind myself more with the light, but at the same time, uh... I wouldn't be able to really see, would I? <laughs> oh, jeez! I was about to say, well, here's to another chase section. And I was right. Fuck you! But there's still a little further to go. You must take full control of your own mind. Reject all of the fantasies you have constructed. 
Yeah, well, I think I can do that. A lot of the stuff I've seen here is personal and ugly as hell. I'll admit it hurts, but it's not fooling me. I know it's fake. Good. You are aware. The part of you bent on self-destruction is not. But you must be careful just because you know the lies for what they are. That doesn't make the danger any less real. Awesome. I don't have any choice. Here. I cannot come any further, but this will help you on your way. Thanks. Thanks. Hey, let me tell you something, Alan. I know how your mind works. You screw up, then you start analyzing it, and before you know it, you start writing all these horror stories in your head. Don't you? Come on, I don't do that. <laughs> yes, you do. I know how it goes. You're a complete failure. I hate you and I'll never forgive you for whatever it was that you did. Oh, I was like, what? <laughs> See? I know you. But Alan, it's all in your head. It is. I love you. And I'm not going anywhere. What a nice... They kept coming. There were too many of them. Hordes and hordes of them. Swarming over the landscape, eager to kill. They were coming for Wake. And this time they would get it with sheer numbers. Oh, I need to heal. Oh, shit. It's dark. I can't see shit. Nah, I'm just waiting for the big fucking flashlight. Big flashlight. Okay. 
You got it. The lighthouse. Go gentle into that good light. Make it through the approach of the lighthouse without firing a weapon. Huh. But I wasn't sure. I saw that trophy the other day when I was going through the trophies. I don't think. I, yeah, I'm not getting the plan for this game because it probably requires you to go through nightmare difficulty. Fuck all that. <laughs> but uh, a trophy's a trophy. Zane had left me. I wasn't sure what the dark presence had done to him if he couldn't follow. But from now on, I was on my own. Still, he had gotten me this far. I would never have made it by myself. This thing was going to end. It wouldn't be long now. A long way up. I hope no more enemies spawn in here. I was surprised by the change of scenery, but not much. I was starting to understand the symbolism, the way the dark place flowed. There's something up there, probably collectible. It's, it's something, all right. My Barry. I think I called him Jerry yesterday. Hey, Al. Uh, feeling kind of depressed here. What? So Zane's your new buddy now. I feel abandoned. <laughs> it's ridiculous. You're not even real. That doesn't mean I don't have any feelings. Yeah. Thing is, you need to get all rational here. Abandon your fantasies, right? Well, I kind of hate to say this, pal, but I'm one. Fine. What I'm saying is the only way you're getting in that cabin is through me. It's one of those kill your darlings things. But hell, you're used to that, big shot fighter. Am I right? It was in everything. It was even taking the people Wake knew, turning his friends against him. They were all against him. What does it say about me? When you're just desperate to keep yourself from getting better. Here we go! I'm earning a 50% provision. You think I won't do it, Barry? You think I won't shoot you? It's great that you first make yourself an imaginary friend. And then you can even live along with that guy. Evil skills, Al. You're a master. Let's what now? Oh no. You're a modern master of crime fiction, an expert on murder and dark alleyways, and a master of substance abuse. That's the best part.
Fly it burns, not a bird lover, are you? Bro, fuck off. If it starts me at the beginning, that's so fucking bullshit. I have the whole flare there. How are they still getting close to me? Oh, fuck you. I can fall off the map. Uh, all right, this shit is not fun. At least I don't have to do the doctor part again, but. Stay in the corner again. Oh my 
Fuck you, you pushed me off. This game is boring. What the fuck? Who made this combat system? Oh, right. Just flash the light on them until you can hit them. Great. It takes 20 years. Also, there's birds attacking you. Hit me. What did I just get hit by? Oh, there's shit on the floor. Kill your darlings, you put your imagination in its place, iron will, you face your own demons and have no ground to them. Alright. Are we finally done? <laughs> finally. Part of him again. My mind was clear. Ah. I've been right. I could think clearly again. But I couldn't survive in this place the way he had, and I might not make it back a second time. Leaving this place would be hard. Maybe impossible. So that's the whole point of the second game. And I think it took them eleven or thirteen years, something like that, because apparently they didn't have the money for it. So I wonder how they got it now. Obviously through an investor, I guess? Or did Alan Wake, the first one, did they slowly wait until it got it more money and then they could pay for it? I don't know. The yet unwritten future waiting to unfold before me. A sequel to Departure. My name is Alan Wake, and I'm a writer. Why, why is the... Oh, I don't know. 
Okay, so I'm finally done with Alan Wake. A, a, a month late, and I should have already been going through Alan Wake 2. <laughs> but I'm finally done with it. <laughs> End of special feature 2. And that's it. That's Alan Wake. Uh, I'm probably going to chill out for a bit. And while I chill, although I could run up Alan Wake 2 immediately... I'm going to be downloading Devil May Cry 5. Um, and whenever it's done downloading, I'm going to hop on Alan Wake 2. Or maybe I'll hop on it now and then just download Devil May Cry later and then play Devil May Cry tomorrow. We'll see. Well, that was it for Alan Wake. It was fun. Whenever they didn't spam enemies and I had zero flares or they, yeah, whatever. It's, it was a fun game. <laughs>